Daisy, Jay Johnson is now in the Valley to discuss with state officials about securing our border and about the crisis that is taking place and affecting our border community. Now, we requested a one on one interview with the Secretary of Homeland Security. However, our requests were denied. During his visit here in the Rio Grande Valley, Johnson will discuss the humanitarian crisis and President Obama's request for $3.7 billion in emergency funds, which the secretary believes is sorely needed. His office released a statement saying that the dramatic increase of unaccompanied children and family units along our southern border will overwhelm the resources available in the current budget. In other words, without additional funds, his office states that the U.S. Immigration and Customs will run out of money by August and Homeland Security would be forced to use funds appropriated for other critical programs. The statement also says that HHS will not be able to address the influx of children by providing space at shelters, so more children will be held at the Border Patrol processing centers for longer periods of time. While the Department of Homeland Security says the extra funding is needed to address this border crisis, it does not mean undocumented immigrants will be allowed to stay. Our border is not open to illegal migration and our message to those who are coming here illegally, to those who are contemplating coming here illegally into South Texas is we will send you back. However, the chairman of the House committee that controls spending says President Obama's request for $3.7 billion is too much money and the House will not approve it. Some politicians like Congressman Hal Rogers of Kentucky says while there are some needs that should be met immediately, some of the money requested by the president for this crisis is already being addressed in Congress's regular spending bills. And as mentioned once before, Jay Johnson is here in the Valley, but we are told that he will have no media availability. In McAllen, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.